put your hooves together for Mr. Milton Jones. Thank you very much. You're looking fantastic. How are you feeling, eh? How are you feeling, cows? Over the moon, eh? <laughs> I remember years ago when I used to drink a pint of milk, I used to get a little moustache over there. Because you used to have a lot of steroids in your food in those days, didn't you? So, hey, what do you do for a living? Grazing? Grazing or double grazing? Just grazing, fair enough. So, anyone here celebrating anything? Yes, you, madam. Yes. Very nice to you. Let me see your hat. Let's have a butcher's. Oh, sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> you got a boyfriend? Ah, oh, it's him in the back of the field. Oh, hello, sir. Come in if you like. I won't charge you if you don't charge me. Oh. So, a cow goes into a bar. Sorry, a cow goes into a sheep. Yeah. <laughs> Because we don't like sheep, do we? No, we don't, no. Sheep are really stupid. Yeah. I'll tell you how to stop sheep straying into another field. Velcro bushes. Yeah. The other day, I saw a sheep doing a pole dance. Oh, yeah, admittedly, it was in the window of a kebab shop. Yeah. She pretty much taken off everything she was going to. Let me tell you that. Um, Recently, I studied agriculture and communication, specialising in sheep, and uh, in the end I came out with the BAA. After that, I set up the British Sheep Census, uh, but I fell asleep halfway through that. It didn't work out at all. Yeah, I didn't like that. Thank you very much. You've been a great crowd. See you again sometime. Thank you. Milton, how did it go? They were moved. They were really moved. 